Hello there, my lovely. Make yourself comfortable. So, what brings you to see me today? My name's Dr Sarah. Okay, so you've been feeling rather anxious about lots of things, all right. Okay. Do you feel unwell? Right, okay. You always have anxiety about your health, okay. And what other things in your life? Okay, so elderly parents, money worries. Okay. Alright, so how do you feel physically in yourself? Okay. So you've been having some headaches, lots of butterflies in your tummy and nausea, dry mouth. Okay, and episodes that you think are panic attacks, okay, how do they feel? Okay, so you go hot, flushed, very nauseous and you shake and your heart, yeah, heart palpitations, yeah, okay. Alright, okay, well, how would you feel if I gave you a little medical examination today? Okay. Right. I'll also ask you a few questions, all right? Just to gauge how your anxiety is sitting at the moment, whether it's bad or, you know, not so bad at all. Is that all right? Okay. Well, let me just find that sheet. I know I've got some on my desk. There we go. I'll put that on there. All right. So before I give you a physical examination, I will just ask you these seven questions, okay? And I'd like you to answer them as in not sure, several days, over half the days and nearly every day, okay? So over the last two weeks, how often have you been bothered by any of the following problems? So one, feeling nervous, anxious or on edge. Okay. All right. Not being able to stop or control worrying. So you would say over half the days. Okay. Okay. Worrying too much about different things. Okay. Trouble relaxing. Have you been having lots of trouble relaxing? Okay. Being so restless that it's hard to sit still. So you've been up and about constantly, you know, cleaning more or just not being able to sit still. You have noticed that. Okay. Nearly every day? Okay. Okay. Becoming easily annoyed or irritable? Right, okay. That's several days. And feeling afraid as if something awful might happen? Okay. So that happens a lot. Alright, thank you. Right, so I'll just add those. Okay, three, three, three. Okay. So, that's quite a high score, okay? So, based on those questions, how difficult have your feelings of anxiety um, made it difficult for you to do your work recently? Or take care of things at home? Or even get along with other people? Quite difficult, okay. So I'll put somewhat difficult on there. Okay, my lovely. Well, I'll just update that. Okay. So what I'd like to do is just give you that little examination, all right? Okay. Now, I know you're allergic to latex, so I'm going to use some vinyl gloves here just to check you over. Okay. You've not had any infections recently or anything like that, have you? No. All right. Okay. All right then. So 
first things first, I'm going to have a little listen to your heart, okay? Okay. Are you feeling anxious at the moment? Alright. Okay, just breathe normally for me. I'm just going to pop this stethoscope onto your chest. your neck. Okie dokie. Just take some nice deep breaths in and out for me. I'll just listen to your chest. Okay, good. In and out. Okay, in and out. That's fine. I'm just going to pop the pulse oximeter onto your finger, my lovely. That will just tell me where your oxygen saturation is, okay? And your pulse rate. Just pop that on there for me. There we go. Okay. Pulse is racing a little bit, okay, but your oxygen sats are fine, so that's good. Right, going to check your blood pressure now. Sometimes dizziness and feelings of just being a little bit off can be blood pressure related, but also can be anxiety related too. Okay, there we go. Let's pop that on the right. Well done, there we go. Just pop the stethoscope onto the artery there. And I shall just inflate, all right? It'll go tight for a few moments, okay. not too bad at all. Okay, take that off there. I'll just check it on your other arm. All right. Just wrap that round. Okay. And let's just inflate it again. Nothing to worry about there. Okay. So could I just have a little press around your abdomen? Yeah? Okay. Tell me if anything feels tender. Okay. Okay, just a little bit deeper now. All that okay, good. Good. Okay, perfect. I'll just update the notes. Okay. All right, then, my lovely. I'm just going to have a little press around your lymph nodes, all right? Tell me if anything's uncomfortable.
didn't feel anything untoward there. Okay. Alright. I'm going to have a little look down your throat if I may. Okay. Open nice and wide for me. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, say R for me. Okay, lovely. And again. Okay, thank you. Perfect. No problems there. So you're not taking any medications currently, are you? No. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now, are you drinking alcohol at all? Okay, how much? Alright, is that more than normal? Okay. Do you smoke? Okay, any recreational drugs? Okay, alright. Just be very careful not to have too much alcohol intake. I know it can sometimes help you relax, but it's not ideal to increase that intake too much, okay? Because it can add to other problems as well. Yeah. Okay. So with your headaches, okay, what type of headache are you getting? Is it all over your head? Is it like a tight band of pain? Is it like a migraine with one side of your face affected with nausea, um, unable to tolerate bright lights? Okay. So it's, it's like a tight band, but sometimes it's all over. Okay. All right. Let me just have a little press of your head monthly. Okay. Is that sore when I press? Like a bit there, okay. Right. Sounds very much like tension headache. Do you take medication for that? Okay, just paracetamol. Okay. Okay. So you're spending a lot of time worrying about your health, okay. And it is interfering with your daily life, all right. Okay. Well, we can get you referred to some counselling, all right, so you can have a chat to somebody about this in a more in-depth level than what I'm able to do for you today. Yeah. But as you're not taking any medication at the moment, um, I can prescribe you anxiolytic medication, which is just something to calm the anxiety Okay, yeah, it's not one of the more habit-forming drugs, okay, so it will take a little while to work, it won't work instantaneously, but it will help you cope with things, it'll just take the edge off and let you come back to some normality again with the way you're feeling, the way you see everything as a threat or a fear, or constantly thinking something's going to happen, yeah, how does that sound? Okay. Well, I can describe you that now and reception will have that. Okay, but you just relax and I'll come back to you in a second, okay? All right. Okay, so how are you feeling at the moment, my lovely? All right. Have you tried guided breathing at all to help calm your feelings of panic and anxiety? All right. One very good way to control the breathing is to breathe in for seven. So like that. Good breath in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and out for eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, 
one. So in for seven, out for eleven. Okay? You just practice that a second while I just get something ready. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And if you repeat that over and over, it can really help calm your heart rate and all that excess adrenaline that's running through your body which makes us feel terrible. It does cause all the symptoms that you're having. Nausea, sometimes really upset tummy, tight throat, dry mouth, rapid breathing, shaking, tense muscles, yeah? Feelings of intense fear, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. We'll get you there, all right, but we'll get you some help. Okay. So I just want to check inside your ears, my lovely, because I know you said you've been feeling a bit dizzy, but we'll just make sure there's nothing wrong with your ears, okay? So just to keep nice and still, and I'm just going to have a look with this otoscope, all right? Okay. So I'm just going to gently put up and back on your ear, my lovely, and just insert. There we go. Lovely. Well done. Okay. Can't see anything. Untoward there, your eardrum looks really, really healthy. No inflammation. Okay. Lovely. That looks fine. Okay, no sign of infection or fluid. I'll just withdraw that now. Okay there. Let's have a look at this side for you, my dear. That's a really healthy ear canal. Really healthy. Well done. Just a normal amount of earwax. That's perfect. Okay, nothing to worry about there. Just withdraw that. Okay. There we go. That all looks perfectly fine. Any problems with your eyes at all? Alright, okay, I'll just do a little quick test. Just check the ocular motion there, okay. Can you just follow my finger? Okay. Alright, okay. And could you just follow it up? And down. And up. And down. That's fine. Do you have any hobbies at the moment? Okay, do you get out for walks or? Oh, okay, you like to ride your cycle. Well, that's good. That's good. And what about your diet? Okay, you found yourself comfort eating a little. Okay. Yeah. Again, just be very mindful. It's very easy to do that. But again, sometimes if you're not feeling like, e like eating, sometimes the next day you might be hungry and then you tend to like, oh, what can I have? And you might delve into the wrong things. But now and again, it's fine. But just make sure that you're trying to eat some healthy things as well. Yeah, it's okay. We'll take good care of you, all right? And the medication will help. Yeah, then we'll get you to speak to somebody who can have a really nice chat to you, all right, about things. Health anxiety is very, very common. But you've got a lot of life anxiety as well. Lots of things going on in your life. That's perfectly normal reaction. Okay? Is it okay if I try and take some blood from you today? Okay. I'd just like to do a full blood panel. Okay? Just to make sure we're not missing anything that could cause some symptoms similar to yours. Yeah? Such as thyroid. Anything like that. Alright? Okay. Okie dokie. Ready. Okay. Have you got a preference of which arm I take it from? Should we try this one? Your left? Okay. Okay, 
my lovely. So I'm just going to pop this round your arm. Okay, there we go. It will feel very tight, I do apologise. Okay. Let's pop that on there. There we go. Okay, just make a fist for me. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to give that a wipe. Look, I'm just going to give it a little pat. Sorry, that might be a little bit uncomfortable. Your veins are very big today, but it's so warm, isn't it? Our air conditioning isn't working well either, and it's a very hot day. We're all melting. Okay, that's fine. Okay, my lovely. So, I'm just going to give you a little sharp scratch, okay, and just take some samples. Of blood. I'll need to change the bottle a couple of times, okay? Don't look if you don't like this kind of thing. Alright then, one, two, three, and sharp scratch. There we go, well done, okay. Oh, this won't take long. My veins are terrible, no one can get blood out of me. <laughs> okay, that's one. doing great. I just need to get three vials. Okay. Okay. And one more. Perfect. You okay? Nearly done, my lovely. Brilliant, okay. And could you just hold that cotton wool over there for me, nice and tight, lots of pressure. Thank you very much, okay, lovely. Okay. Let's gather these up now. Pop them in the bag. to the, the lab for checking. Let's have a little look at this now. Well done for pressing hard on that. Okay, all right, I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape over that, okay. All right, okay. This tape's really hard. I'm just gonna have to remove my glove. It's really, really hard to get the end off. It's always the way, isn't it? You try and get some tape and you just can't find the end of it. Okay, right, here we go. It's an absolute nightmare, this one. It really is. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Let's just pop that on there, like that. Okay. Right. So I'll take my gloves off now. So, I'm going to do that referral. Okay. I'll complete that afterwards. And you should hear from the team within about seven days to do an initial assessment with you. All right, my lovely. But practice that 7-Eleven breathing. Your prescription will be with the pharmacy. Okay, so you can go and collect that. But in the meantime, try to relax. I know it's not the easiest. I'll be in touch with your blood results in a few days' time. Okay, and hopefully we can calm down those health anxiety fears. Okay, and we'll get you chatting to the counsellor as well. Okay, my lovely. All right, well, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll speak to you in a few days. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.